Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you my top five BDK fragrances. Y'all, so I have a collection of 10 fragrances by BDK in my BDK collection, um, not including the fragrances that Bay has because he owns three of them. This is just all mine, 10 fragrances. They were all sent to me by the fragrance group. I did not spend any of my own coins on any of these BDK fragrances. However, I'm not obligated to speak about these fragrances. And if I didn't have these fragrances in my collection sent to me from the fragrance group, I would have been buying them because that's how good they are, okay? Any fragrance that I speak about on this channel are fragrances that I love, whether I paid for them or whether they were sent to me. If you don't see me speaking about a fragrance, it doesn't see the light of day on this channel if I don't like it, okay? Now, if you're interested in seeing my top five BDK fragrances with an honorable mention, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so like I was saying to you, I didn't pay for any of my BDK fragrances. They were all sent to me by the fragrance group. Now, you can save 20% using my discount code the great 20 if you purchase from soavantgarde.com all the information is going to be linked in my description box below and possibly in my comment section if you're interested in any bdk fragrances or any fragrance on soavantgarde.com because my discount is good site wide okay now i'm going to start with this honorable mention although i do have my top five actually no let me start with the hair perfume. So I was sent these hair perfumes by the fragrance group as well. So this is Rouge Smoking and this is Bouquet de Angri. This is what they look like. It's gonna wash everything out. The little white aerosol cans. Let me tell y'all, I'm not a hair perfume person, but if I was, I would wanna wear these perfumes in my hair. First of all, it smells and is as powerful as the fragrance and it doesn't have any grease or any oil in it like that or anything like that. And also it doesn't have any color. I'm not gonna say which brand, but a brand did send me a hair perfume. I never mentioned it on the channel until now. And when I sprayed it on a piece of white paper, because I wanted to try the scent. It was a scent that I didn't have from the collection. So I did spray it just to smell it. So I sprayed it on a card and it was a white card and it left a pink residue. Now for me, I don't want anything in my hair that has color unless I'm purposely putting color in the hair. It's very strong, like I said, this is 100 mils, it's 3.4 fluid ounces. I'm not sure how much it retails for, but you know, you can use my discount code, the great 20. If you want those fragrances to perform and just be on you forever, spray the hair perfume in your hair, guys, because these scents are very strong. So let's start with the honorable mention. I struggle with this one, y'all, because this one, this one is my girl. I feel kind of bad because she's an honorable mention, but I mean, it is what it is. I actually feel like the five is a solid five and I feel confident in my decision right now. But let's speak about the honorable mention and it's Gris Charnel. Y'all, like if you're clutching your pearls because you thought it would have been, you know, in the five, this is a beautiful scent, okay? First of all, all 10 of my BDK fragrances are amazing. I love all of them. If I had to purchase them with my own coins, I would, you know what I mean? But you know, it's a top five, so it is what it is. But I had to mention this one because this is just your creamy, sweet, fruity, tea-like green fig fragrance, and I love it. I'm not a green, um, you know, scent type of person. It has to be done right. But in this fragrance, it also has, I think there's like a, yeah, there's a creamy sandalwood in the base, also tonka bean. So it adds like a creamy nuttiness in the dry down along with that sweet green fig. And it's just a beautiful classy scent. It has fig, black tea, cardamom, iris, bourbon, vetiver, sandalwood, and uh, tonka bean. It has a little bit of sweetness to it, but nothing like a sweet, fruity, pretty girl scent. It's a unisex scent, but I feel like this one leans more feminine. And the BDK um, Gris Charnel x straight leans more, it's unisex as well, but I'm gonna say it leans more masculine because it has that 
um, it's more smoky. It definitely has a more smoky vibe to it. It smells like Gris Chanel, but just Gris Chanel and just like, like I said, more smoky. So that one to me leans a little bit more masculine, but that one is in my collection because it's super sexy to me. Very sexy for nighttime wear, nighttime in the fall or the winter, or even to layer with other fragrances. But this is the original Gris Chanel. Like I said, it's like a classy scent, like an alpha female scent. It can be a fragrance that you wear to work it can be a fragrance that you wear like if you have a meeting and you want to be smelled and you want to smell like you mean business you know what i mean that's this type of scent for me it can also be worn on vacation because it has like a vacation type of vibe to it i just think it's very versatile and i kind of feel bad but i mean if it was a top six it would have been easy but top five honorable mention just no grease chanel is that girl Next up, we have Bouquet de Angri. Now, if you're someone that likes to smell clean and fresh and soapy and pretty, not too intense, not too heavy, more light and airy, more aquatic, then this is the one for you, Bouquet de Angri. It's a very feminine scent, in my opinion. It's not unisex at all. This is a pretty girl scent, but kind of like clean vibes. She's definitely giving like clean girl vibes, clean girl aesthetic um soapy shampoo smells like clean hair so it opens up with pear strawberry cassis turkish rose jasmine sandback laurinex musk cedar and amber this is a daytime scent in the spring summer it's something that you can wear you know you're not doing too much running errands you're not too dressed up not too elevated you can wear it to uh work if you're a school teacher you can wear it to the hospital if you you know you work in the medical field um or if you just like the clean shampoo like scent this is for you bouquet de angry by bdk all right y'all so we started off the list with bouquet de angry she came in at number five so now coming in at number four we have tuberose imperial i struggle with this one guys because this one is a banger. Like she almost made it to like number two or number three. But honestly, yo, listen, guys, like honestly, this is so good. I haven't worn this one. Um, I want to say in like a month or so. I haven't reached for this. I need to reach for this one because this one smells so good. This is a tuberose scent. But let me tell y'all, it's not a rubbery animalic type of tuberose, like sharp tuberose. It's not even a bubble gummy type of tuberose. I don't know what this kind of tuberose is, but like I said, it's not sharp. It's not bubblegummy, like, you know, kind of like playful, but it's so sexy. It's so classy. It's so sophisticated. If you're someone that doesn't like tuberose, I can see you loving this fragrance because you smell the tuberose, but it's just done right. Or I don't know what type of tuberose this is, but y'all, this is so beautiful. This will make someone that says, I hate tuberose, love tuberose i'm telling you so this opens up with pink pepper egyptian geranium there's peach indian tuberose ylang ylang jasmine egyptian jasmine iris cashmere sandalwood vanilla patchouli and benzoin i mean honestly guys the only tuberose is the indian tuberose and there's actually more jasmine in this fragrance than tuberose maybe that's why it just smells it smells so regal, y'all. Like, honestly, it just smells so rich, so classy, so regal, but yet still sexy, but not overtly sexy, not like come hither, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a very, wow, that person just walked in. She looks beautiful. She looks put together, well-groomed, and she smells classy and sexy. It's that type of vibe, guys. I'm telling you. It lasts long on the skin. You'll get compliments. Very, like I said, regal. I love this fragrance. Tuberose Imperial. Next up, we have Creme de Cure. And this is my pineapple, suede, leather, woody fragrance. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. This pineapple, it's not a sweet, juicy, you know, cartoon character pineapple that you see, you know, moving as a gift. It's not that pineapple, y'all. This pineapple is so sexy. This pineapple is so seductive. This pineapple is so sensual. Yes, she's sensual, sexy, and seductive all at the same damn time, okay? It opens up with pink pepper. There's pineapple, bergamot, sandalwood. There's suede, vanilla, leather, birch, and musk. Now, if the pineapple wasn't in this fragrance, the pineapple and the vanilla, 
I feel like this fragrance would lean more masculine. And don't think pineapple and woody notes and then start thinking about that damn Aventus, okay? Every fragrance with pineapple is not Aventus. Say it with me. Every fragrance that features the note of pineapple does not smell like Aventus. This smells like its own beautiful fragrance. I haven't smelled anything that smells like this. It's a sexy summer date night scent for me. And I'm not even a leather and suede type of person. That's not my, my vibe, but if it's snuck in, you know what I mean? Like if it's snuck in there and blended right and mixed with the right notes, then you can definitely do something that has suede and leather if it smells like this because the pineapple is pineappling in this fragrance, okay? Mixed with that vanilla, y'all, I'm telling you, this isn't a pretty girl scent. It's not like a Delina pretty girl flirt. It's not that kind of scent. I feel like it can be unisex. I can see a man wearing this, but honestly, I have no issues with this fragrance. It smells feminine on me. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm wearing a scent that smells masculine. It smells amazing. Super, super sexy. Like I said, if you love pineapple, then you know you need a fragrance like this for the nighttime because my pineapple fragrances are more daytime, more actually not my Lamar. My Lamar can be worn at night as well. Oh, speaking of, so I never layered this with Lamar. I'm gonna try that. But I did layer this with Oud Joan Intense by Fragrance Dubois. Y'all, when I tell you the entire day, I was just getting compliments upon compliments upon compliments. That combination right there is wicked. Like, it's deadly. Try it if you have the two and let me know. But honestly, guys, Creme de Cure is beautiful on its own. Creme de Cure by BDK. All right, y'all, we coming down to the wire. We're at number two. And the number two spot goes to Passe Soir. Y'all, look at the dent. I mean, I mean, like, the dent says it all. Like, I can just stop talking now because the dent is speaking for me. Go ahead and talk, y'all. Go ahead. You done? Okay. <laughs> y'all, this fragrance right here is so addictive. <sighs> I didn't put it at number one. I didn't put it at number one. It could have been number one, y'all. Oh, it's, listen, what does this smell like? It kind of smells like a sweet, fruity drink. It smells like a drink. It smells a little bit spicy. It has a little creaminess to it. This right here is a very versatile scent. You can wear this scent all year round. I can see this in the spring, summer, fall, and in the dead of winter. It's one of those fragrances, and that's why my dent looks like this, because I wear it all year long. Y'all, this is such a sexy scent, but it's also daytime appropriate. Like, if you wore it in the day and run errands, it makes sense. If you wore it to brunch, a little dressed up, it makes sense. If you wore it on a sexy dinner date night, it makes sense. If you wore it to a gala or an extravaganza, it makes sense. Like, this fragrance just fits every occasion, every attire she's so super versatile this can be a signature scent okay saying all that i'm saying that this can be a signature scent because you can wear this to work during the week you can wear it to play on the weekends like it's that type of versatile scent it's a unisex scent but honestly guys i feel like it leans more feminine but i mean i'm sure a man can wear this if he chose to but in my opinion it leans feminine let me tell you the notes it opens up with my favorite right now juicy pear okay Black pepper, ginger, uh, mandarin orange, jasmine, orange blossom, patchouli, and amber wood. Y'all, I didn't put it at number one. <laughs> does it sound like I'm regretting it? It probably does, but I do love the number one fragrance. But this should have been a tie because I'm obsessed with this one as well. Like I said, the dent was speaking for me. You heard everything that the dent had to say. Passe Soir by BDK. Okay, y'all, so we're at the last fragrance, the number one spot. And I'm sure if you guys know me and you know this channel, you already know what's at the number one spot, okay? Drum roll, please. And the number one spot goes to Rouge Smoking. Y'all know this already. Like, I mean, I don't even know why I was so dramatic about it because you guys already know. Now, look at this dent. Like, honestly, guys, I already have a backup bottle. Just so you know, the backup bottle is waiting. This fragrance right here is so addictive. But in a, how can I say, oh my goodness. 
Now, I haven't smelled this fragrance in over a month because whenever I smell this fragrance, I just wanna spray it. I'm addicted to it, guys. Like, this scent profile is me all day, every day. It's sweet, it has a cherry note in it, it smells like a root beer float. It's gourmand, but not really dessert smelling. It smells like a dessert drink. Something that has like marshmallows in it with like whipped cream and root beer and ice cream. That's what this smells like, y'all. Listen, this right here, real MVP. It's comforting. It's sexy. It's flirty. It's something, another one that you can wear all year round. This, another all year rounder. You can wear this in the day. You can wear this when you feel down and you want to feel uplifted and happy and just have like an immediate boost of your mood. Y'all, Rouge Smoky, she's smoking, y'all. Let me tell you the notes. Opens up with cherry. There's pink pepper, bergamot, um, black vanilla husk, heliotrope, orange blossom, tonka bean, cashmere wood, white musk, violet, and broxen, and no, 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 no. It does not smell like Baccarat Rouge because it has the Umbroxen, okay? Y'all. I mean, I don't have anything else to say. It smells like a dessert, a dessert drink, like root beer float with some marshmallows and some cherries and some cherry syrup. It's amazing. Now, this to me is a feminine scent. I know of some men that wear this and have this, so I guess it's unisex. However, for me, it leans very feminine. Like this is a feminine scent to me. It's not even leaning. Like she she done pushed over. She's not leaning. She fell. She fell over into the feminine side. Yeah. A feminine sexy side. If you love fragrances like Killian, Love Don't Be Shy, the original, it doesn't smell like it, but I'm just saying if you love sweet fragrances like that, then you'll love this. If you love fragrances like Lost Cherry by Tom Ford, doesn't smell like it, although they share the cherry note you will love this. I'm just trying to explain to you guys that if you love sweet fragrances, then Rouge Smoking to me is a safe flying by. Um, does it last forever and ever and ever? It doesn't last forever, but I'm getting like six to seven hours on my skin. I've heard from some people that it fades away in no time. Thank God that was not my experience, okay? Like this one right here, if this faded away on me, I would cry because the scent of this if I had to choose a signature scent today, it would be this. I wanna be known for a scent like this because this is just so sexy and seductive. And this is me, me in a bottle. I love it. Rouge Smoking by BDK. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your favorite BDK fragrances. Like I said, guys, check the description box, check my comment section. I'm gonna leave links to all the fragrances and use my discount code, the great 20 and save 20%. Let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.